Hey guys, so it looks like Bradley Cooper is rumoured to be playing Batman in James Gunn's DCU moving forward. Is it true? Is it false? Let's find out. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to be talking about Bradley Cooper is potentially rumoured to play an older Batman in James Gunn's DCU uh, after Ryan Reynolds made him retire from superhero roles. So yeah, um, he auditioned for the Green Lantern role. Obviously he got beaten out by Ryan Reynolds. He kind of dodged a bullet because that movie is universally hated and despised. Me, myself, I watch it at least once a year. I think it's a fun throwaway movie. Like, yeah, the CGI is awful and the story, like the villain as well um parallax i think he's called he's like a giant space squid or something um it's just a ridiculous popcorn throwaway movie but i, th I think it's fun to watch every now and again but yeah i digress so bradley cooper may may have wrapped up voicing rocket raccoon's tragic story in the epic conclusion of guardians of the galaxy volume 3 i recently watched guardians 3 um i i was pleasantly surprised by it i wasn't looking that forward to it because Marvel's been on a downslope, I haven't really been looking forward to any of their movies, but I kind of forced myself to go and watch it. And I had a really good time with it. Um, it's like got great action and, you know, it's a bit of a tearjerker as well. Very emotional story. But yeah, go and watch it if you haven't, guys. Uh, but the Tony Award winning actor is now rumoured to be James Gunn's top choice for Batman in his Bat Family movie, Brave and the Bold, and other DCU projects. The actor, who previously auditioned for multiple DC roles and ended up losing all of them, one being Ryan Reynolds, Green Lantern, may now be living his dream with James Gunn's blessing. So, James Gunn is Bradley Cooper's ticket to the DC, uh, DCU, I should say. Bradley Cooper, who once looked up to Christian Bale for his inspiration after losing the Green Lantern uh, role to Ryan Reynolds, failed miserably at taking his shots to play DC's Caped Crusader. Uh, Cooper accepted that he copied Christian Bale's uh, Batman during the audition and it backfired. This is the thing, guys. It's like... Um, obviously I'm not an actor myself, but I, I would assume because there's been so many iterations of Batman now, when you come in and audition for a Batman role, you have to do something, you have to do something different. You have to have a fresh take on it. Something that makes your Batman different from previous iterations that we've seen before. It's like, you've got, um, the newest Batman, um, played by Robert Patterson. When he talks, he doesn't have a gruffled voice like Christian Bell. He just talks normally. It took me a while to get used to it, but it kind of yeah it kind of makes it different it makes it unique and his his bruce wayne and his batman is very different from what you see in the christian bell trilogy so yeah you have to kind of have a fresh take on it guys we don't want the same kind of gruffled voice batman in every single movie you know uh while he thanked his stars after ryan reynolds career fumbled following the green latin debacle the actor is now rumored to play an older batman for james gunn upcoming batman movies like brave and the bold several reports are validating that the sexiest man alive shift from marvel to dc suggests that Bradley Cooper may uh, may thank James Gunn as a pick for the older Batman as the director now shifts his entire focus to upcoming DCU projects. So, for instance, James Gunn is set to come up with a father-son story in his upcoming movie, Brave and the Bold, which is based on Grant Morrison's Batman comics in the mid to late 2010s. Gunn revealed that the comics remained exceptionally influential on DCU. Yeah, so this one's going to have, um, I believe that Brave and the Bold is going to have Robin in it, which is going to be really, really, I think it's going to be really unique and really cool and a really fresh take on the Batman um, Batman IP because we've not seen Robin for a long time, um, like on the live action like movies. We've seen, obviously he's in Titans at the moment, um, the TV show, but that, relationship between bruce wayne and his son like how that's going to work is going to be i think going to be the driving force behind the movie and i really can't wait to see what they do with that relationship bradley cooper's bittersweet loss would would be paid off with batman role before joining marvel's 1.2 billion guardians of the galaxy franchise the voice behind the beloved rocket remained suppressed uh in the dc universe cooper who auditioned multiple times for dc roles couldn't get one interestingly even Cooper couldn't disagree that his audition for Green Lantern's role looks like a Saturday Saturday night live sketch. <laughs> so yeah, this article is just basically reiterating that he he did an impression of Bale's Batman basically, and it just turned into a, like a live comedy sketch, like where he was just trying to imitate Bale. And that's not what you want to do. Like I say, you want a fresh take. You want a fresh take on the character. Uh, it's only fair to suggest that after Ryan Reynolds, who himself represented the death of superheroes after the 2011 flop made Cooper retire from superhero roles. The act was a blessing in disguise for Cooper. 
Uh, Reynolds' career, however, fumbled after the 2011 film became one of the biggest box office bombs in history. So Bradley Cooper did a really good job to avoid um, missing out on that movie. Like, he did a really good job not to avoid missing out, to actually miss out, sorry. Um, yeah. So sometimes you don't get something in life, but sometimes it turns out to be a blessing. You never know. <laughs> while it took while it took uh, Reynolds a good amount of time to get back in the game, Bradley Cooper went on to receive four Oscar nominations for his movies like American Hustle, fantastic movie, Silver Linings, I can't say I've seen that, uh, and the war biopic uh, American Sniper. Guys, really, if you're into anything to do with like war movies or anything like that, go and watch American Sniper. That movie, I remember seeing that in cinemas. It has you on the edge of your seat the whole movie. Such a great, such a great movie. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Uh, American Sniper, not to forget his Marvel success. If one goes by recent reports, Bradley Cooper will indeed be living up to his words. Quote, I go wherever James Gunn goes, making a much awaited jump into the James Gunn dominated DC uh, DCU as his older Batman. Back then, Cooper may not have had uh, had the balls to put the cape on, but now tables may have truly turned. Ron Reynolds' torturous Green Lantern can be can be rented or purchased on Amazon's instant video. I love the way it says torturous Green Lantern. <laughs> it's so funny like no matter where you go if anybody's talking about the green lantern they just automatically just have disdain for it everywhere you go so guys before we end off the video i thought it'd be fun to go over to our uh, reddit and we're going to read some uh community replies to this uh information or rumor as you like um so somehow i doubt this this cannot be true gun said specifically he's going for a young actor cooper is too old that is true. Gunn did come out and say he's looking for a younger Superman, and I believe he is looking for a younger Batman as well. Because obviously we want these actors in these roles to continue on for, what, 10 or 15 years? You know, like Hugh Jackman, he played the Wolverine character for a long time, grew into it, and he became the staple kind of iconic person to play that role. Um, I call BS. Better be, better be BS or better be cast in the role? Uh, better be... I'm assuming that means BS. Uh, laughable... <laughs> I don't think it's laughable. Bradley Cooper's an amazing actor. Why? Why? I don't get why it's laughable. Um, another up in years actor. There hasn't been a Batman under 30 since 1943. Lewis G. Wilson. Cooper is pushing 50. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? Could you see if he's pushing 50? I don't know if that's true. I'm assuming guessing by this. I'll just take it at face value that he is pushing 50. Um, could he play this role of Batman in James Gunn's DCU for the next 10 or 15 years until he's 65. Could he do that? I'm not really sure. It depends on what kind of Batman they're looking for. He could always pass the Batman mantle onto his son, depending on how old Damian Wayne is going to be in The Brave and the Bold. I believe it's Damian Wayne, uh, the iteration of Robin that's going to be in there. So Batman could always pass the mantle onto his son if he becomes too old. You never know. You just don't know what storyline they're going for at the moment. Still younger than Henry Cavill. Uh, Cavill is 40, 39. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think he's 39. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Daryl the Dude Wayne. I like that name. Uh, from Rocket Raccoon, from Rocket Raccoon to Batman. That would be a hell of a transition. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool because, um, Batman's my favorite DC character and Rocket Raccoon is my favorite Marvel character as well. So having him play both of my favorite characters, is kind of awesome. Uh, but honestly, I think Cooper could pull it off. If he can make a raccoon with a machine gun, one of the best characters in the MCU, then he can play Batman. That's a fair point. I mean, if you can turn an innocent, cute raccoon into a machine gun wielding nutcase, um, why could you not play, you know, a nighttime vigilante? I, I guess you could. I like Bradley Cooper, but he doesn't seem like a Batman type, to be honest. But I'd like to see him involved in the DCU. Yeah, I, I very much um, agree with this comment. Like, even if we didn't see him as Batman or Bruce Wayne... I would love to see him like as a villain or potentially even playing like Alfred or something like that. That would be cool. Because he, like, like I keep saying, guys, I know I keep saying it over and over, but he's a fantastic actor. He's an Oscar nominated actor and he truly has great talent. And, you know, putting him in the DC universe is just nothing but a good thing. Always adding talent is always a good thing. There's nothing negative that can come from Adam Bradley Cooper um, in some aspect or another. But, um, He'd make a great Bruce Wayne, but a terrible Batman. Um, I don't think this is true. Yeah, a lot of people think that, like, a Batman character has to be, like, a big, you know, hulking monster kind of guy, but it doesn't. Like, Robert Pattinson played Batman, obviously, in this Batman movie, uh, the most recent iteration. I mean, he he's not a big, stocky guy, 
And, um, you know, he pulled off the physicality of Batman very, very well. But yeah, I throw it off to you guys. So what do you guys think about Bradley Cooper potentially playing Batman in James Gunn's DC Universe moving forward? Um, nobody's confirmed this yet, I have to say. It's still speculation. The actor hasn't confirmed it. The studio hasn't confirmed it. But I think it's a great thing. He's an Oscar-worthy um, actor. There's, I don't see a downside to this. I think he could bring something fresh and unique to this. And um, he lost that on the roll once. Maybe he can do it justice this time if he gets the roll. Um, jump into the comment section, guys, and let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one.